Hello everyone, my name is Graham Briggs and I'm on the Trimble Forensics team. And I'm here today to teach you how to configure your GNSS receiver to work with the Capture Field software before you take it out to the field to measure your first scene. So you've just acquired your new R4S LE GNSS receiver, you use the Capture Field software, and you want to make sure everything works before you actually have to use it on a real scene. So grab your gear, um, head outside where the GNSS receiver can see the sky to track some satellites. Go ahead and open up the capture software and then click on the menu button on the top left corner here. Choose the configure GNSS option and that will open up the configure GNSS screen over here. Um, choose your GNSS style. We have a couple of styles. We have a demo mode where you can use simulated GPS for training and demonstration purposes. In our case we want to connect to our real receiver so we set the GNSS style to NTRIP. The next step is to turn on your GNSS receiver and go ahead and search for the Bluetooth connection by tapping on this button. We will begin scanning for devices in the area. Depending on how many Bluetooth devices are visible to you, you may see multiple entries in the connections down here. You're looking for the one that's R4S LE for your receiver type and that matches the serial number on the receiver. If you're not sure what that is, take a look at the sticker on the bottom of the receiver and this number should match there. Go ahead and pick your GNSS receiver and click OK. Now that you've established a connection to the GNSS receiver, the next step is to establish a connection to an NTRIP server, which will be the source of your base station corrections required to get precise measurements from your GNSS rover. An NTRIP server operates on an internet address, if you are using a server such as the Trimble VRS Now network, you would type in that URL here. Uh, you need to know what port it operates on. VRS Now operates on 2101. You would have user credentials, a username, and password. Once you've entered that information, go ahead and click the Download NTRIP Table button, and we will connect to the receiver and get the NTRIP table. NTRIP is simply an acronym that stands for Network Transport of RTCM via Internet Protocol, which is just a fancy way of saying a method of getting the base station observations to the rover over the Internet. Each NTRIP server will offer one or more mount points, and a mount point is simply a single source of connection for the corrections from the GPS receiver. Mount points are typically named based on the type of corrections and the type of satellite constellations that are offered. Depending on what network you're using, you should consult with the network provider to ask what is the most appropriate mount point for the region of the network that you are in. In this case, we're going to pick CMRX corrections with GPS and GLONASS observations, and we're good to go. Now before we wrap all this up, we want to make sure everything works, so go ahead and click the Test Configuration button. We will make a connection through the receiver. The NTRIP network will begin giving us base corrections, um, and we're waiting to make sure that we get a RTK fixed position to verify that we will be able to get precise observations in the field. You'll notice right now we have a precision of approximately one-tenth of a foot. Um, and the correction age was 10 to 15 seconds. And then after a short amount of time, our position type went to RTK fixed. We have just a few one hundredths of a foot of precision, and our correction age should be in the neighborhood of one to two seconds. So this is telling us that everything looks good to go. We can go back from here. We can accept the configuration, and we are now ready to head to the field and measure coordinates on a scene with our GNSS receiver. If you continue to use the same receiver and the same NTRIP mount point, um, you don't have to do that configuration ever again. You will notice that when you start a new job and go to the next step where you pick your input method, when you pick GNSS, the receiver that you've already configured and already verified working on this NTRIP mount point is all ready to go.